Now, when Kristen's ranger gets up there, <laughs> just remember he's afraid he might of. end up down there. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, he's a, he's a bad he's dog. He's been bad. He's, he's a, a bad. He he's a bad. He ate half the turkey. Did you hear that? She brought over turkey leftovers after Thanksgiving. She turkey. turned around and they were gone. And there yeah. he had it. He had this smirk on his face like. Uh -huh. the thing he did, exactly. The thing oh is, God. though, no matter what our animals do, we love them <laughs> so the much. It's a we problem. Do. It's we a do. problem. <laughs> because yeah. then he doesn't get corrected. And then, uh, you know, I just a bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> I'm be a yeah. bad parent. <laughs> well, you're not a bad meteorologist. You've certainly kept us boy oh, up on all you. the changes that are going on. <laughs> and we have some changes to talk about right now. We've got some showers moving on in. Take a look at uh, Portland, and you can see some uh, pretty moderate rainfall coming down uh, just on the west side of the city, and that goes on up into Vancouver. In fact, it gets pretty heavy here right along the stretch of I-5 from uh, between Portland and Vancouver, and then Battleground and down to Tiger, too, uh, dealing with some brief heavy rain that's coming down at this point, and then that's going to uh, move out of here pretty quickly to the east. And once we get done with this, uh, we may see another stray shower or two. But overall, the sun's going down, obviously, and so we're going to see those temperatures drop. And with that, uh, it, the energy that we have, which is not a whole lot out there in the atmosphere, but that little bit that we do have will prevent those really heavy showers from developing. So it'll be mainly spotty light rain. But you can see the dark clouds here uh, as the showers press our way. 50 degrees right now, and the winds out of the east northeast at about five. So the winds certainly a lot calmer than yesterday. Uh, temperature wise, we'll be in the 40s as we head to the 7 p.m. hour, and then we'll stay that way. 9 p.m., mid 40s, and then by 11 p.m., starting to take that dip into the low 40s. And tonight will be cooler. Uh, many areas across the metro area and up in northern portions of the Willamette Valley, I mean, even in southern portions of the Willamette Valley, we'll be dipping down into the upper 30s tonight. So it will be quite a bit cooler tomorrow morning. Take a look at Mount Hood Meadows and look at that. That is definitely a welcome sight. Boy, the base has just dwindled so much at Mount Hood. And so we're trying to get a little bit of snow. Officially, according to the websites uh, over um, Timberline, Mount Hood Meadows, and, and calling them up, they're not reporting any new snow, but you can see it on the ground. So it looks like we picked up at least a dusting or so. We may be able to add more to that total. So I couldn't update these numbers exactly yet just because I can't get the official numbers for, from them at this point. But they are getting some snow. Ski ball, a little iffy here. Still uh, not quite cold enough at that level. But by tomorrow morning, we're going to see it drop to about 3,500 feet. So we could even get a little bit of snow there. We desperately need it. I mean, we're in the single digits when it comes to the base. And you just can't, you can't do anything with that at this point. Mount Bachelor, uh, the base has dwindled here too. But not looking bad, 46 inches at mid base, and then it's around 26 inches at the bottom. And then uh, we have two inches of new snow that was reported there. Take a look at the coast. Coast might be the place to go this weekend. It's going to be beautiful there. We'll see some, some sunshine tomorrow, uh, maybe a few more high clouds on Sunday, but the winds will be nice and offshore, and that really just keeps things uh, nice and clear out there by the coast for the most part. So a mix of sun and clouds Saturday, I think more sunshine than anything else, and then dealing with some clouds on Sunday with highs in the 50s there. Rain cloud forecast. We have those showers that are rolling through right now. Those will quickly move on out to the east. Maybe another stray light shower as we head to the overnight hours tonight and trying to pick up a little bit of snow up there on the Cascades for us as we head towards tomorrow morning. But just not a lot of moisture to work with to get a whole lot going. Tomorrow morning, maybe a sprinkle in the Willamette Valley. Uh, we will see some spotty stuff offshore. But again, offshore winds kick in and that's going to move a lot of that cloud cover out of here. So really looking nice all up and down the coast. And then as we go into Sunday, here come those high clouds moving in from southwest to northeast. But we still stay dry. The next system not arriving until we get into your Monday. Uh, temperature wise out there, low 50s into the 30s. East of the Cascades, a much cooler weekend for you ahead. And we'll be cooler here too across uh, areas west of the Cascades. Coastal areas in the 50s, but low 50s and upper 40s through the valley and central and eastern Oregon in the upper 30s there for highs for the gorge in the 40s. And we'll drop down below freezing over the next couple of nights over through Hood River, but we stay dry in the seven day forecast here. Uh, you can see we cool off a little bit too. Dry through the weekend. Next week, we'll have to deal with a few showers, nothing major coming our way anytime soon. So I think we're done with the wacky weather for a while. We can kind of rest and enjoy, especially this weekend that's okay. coming up. Well, thanks nice. for getting us through all that high mm -hmm. wind. Yeah. Thanks. Rough yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, <Justin. laughs>